was born in Singapore and grew up in my hometown of Johor Bahru. After high school, I pursued my studies in art at Institute Technology Mara. I continued to study for art teacher's diploma, taught in a government school for five years, and then I became a lecturer. I believe that art making came very early in my life. My late mother was a diligent and skillful tailor. As a young girl, I often watched her design and sewed clothes. Sometimes, I get to help her by cutting and sewing. I also made painted paper dolls to play with. I am always inspired by the beauty of the traditional Malay arts. The meaningful iconography, intricate composition arrangements, and functionality. My art is generally decorative in style. I use the Malay traditional imagery in compositions derived from traditional Malay architecture, the Persian and Mughal miniature paintings. They occasionally illustrate selections of narrative made or taken from traditional folklore. For me, art seems to be the most powerful medium of expression as it is capable to express almost all aspects of life experiences. Good art requires thorough research to comprehend its intention, messages or ideas to convey. It demands knowledge and expertise to handle the materials tools, and techniques, as well as meticulous discipline to execute it. My husband and I, we are both visual artists. We met during our studies in ITM, got married, and had two children. I still remember the day my husband had a full-blown stroke attack. It was November 4, 2014. For five weeks, he was admitted to the hospital, immobilized, paralyzed on his left side of body. Nothing is ever the same since then. I didn't pain for a long time because of the emotion and changes in life that I went through. In the beginning, I was alarmed, scared. I couldn't accept the changes in our daily routine. Every morning I woke up, seeing him helplessly lay in his sick bed. It was like in a dream. It was a depressing time for me, for the both of us. Both paintings, Late Night 1 and 2, were painted about a year after my husband's stroke attack. The setting for both paintings were during the night in an interior of a traditional Malay house. These are the stories of the late night paintings. Oil lamp. An oil lamp that was hung on one of the house pillar was a remembrance to the village house we used to live in. The house only used oil lamps for light source during the night until the electricity came in late 1960s. Night owl. Apart from sounds of the night's insect in the background, I often heard the hooting of owls in the trees surrounding our house. Sometimes I feel a bit disturbed by this. I remember the belief of the older generation that there would be bad spirits around whenever owls hooted. But I think owl as night creatures would give out sounds as created by God. When we move from the village to the city, I can no longer hear the owls during the night. The massaging oil and lines. For stroke recovery, we engage the help from a professional physiotherapist. We also get help from a traditional masseur. He used massaging oil that he prepared by himself to massage on my husband's paralyzed body parts. The oil was supposed to penetrate the skin into the arteries and veins for improvement of the blood flow and muscle strength. He also advised that my husband's bath water to be mixed with lime juice. This is to neutralize the body from any disturbances of evil spirits, as it was said that 
the spirits dislike the taste of lime. Fruits During a hospital consultation, a dietitian advised my husband to take more fruits beside the normal diet. This is to take in enough nutrients and to avoid unhealthy weight loss that will slow down the stroke recovery process. Fruits like bananas, papayas, and mangosteens are now staple in our home. Cats My family loves cats. We have three pet cats in our house. They are sisters, Jinda, Seri, and Pooh. We consider them as our family members. They always lounge in the studio where I paint. The cats painted in the paintings are illustrations of how close I am to them. Of all cats, Chinda was particularly close to my husband. One night, I overheard my husband talk to Chinda. Dear Chinda, I am sick now. I can't walk properly and cannot hold things with my left hand. Please, would you go and find me the cure for my illness? The next day, Chinda left. We thought it was the usual cat's morning walk, but she hasn't come home ever since. As a caregiver, I wanted to give my utmost care. Stroke patients greatly need understanding, confidence, hopes, and love to accommodate the recovery. I believe my greatest strength is my prayers. I always pray to Allah to give me strength to live the life as it is. The stroke attack made us reflect our previous course and misdeeds, as well as steps to be taken for the improvement of our life. Alhamdulillah, my husband gradually regained his strength. I have no plans to stop painting, making art. Never. It has been a part of my life since over three decades ago. I found peace whenever I paint. I'm also planning and working towards a solo exhibition. Inshallah, next year. I think in life, we must truly know ourselves, learn from our mistakes, and never tire to strive for the better. May Allah give us continuous strength and motivation for success.